my background is in beer marketing. Um, and so kind of a little bit of a passion for craft beer. And there's so many breweries back where I'm from, um, back home in the U.S., that it's becoming kind of hard to keep track of all the different beers and beer styles. I came into the boot camp wanting that full-time immersive experience to be able to um, to learn the JavaScript and kind of take those skills to the next level. Um, so for my app, I built a just kind of a simple, fun um, beer journal where you can um, keep track of different styles of beers that you drink. And it's a full stack Angular 2 app that we developed. Um, so basically we're working with APIs, um, it could be external APIs, but also creating our own APIs um, from the back end database to be able to access information in the front end and um, make a full stack application. So this is, um, I wanted to design and develop just a, a really kind of clean single page app. So everything that's in the app is kind of accessible within one single page view. Um, so basically, every user has their own database of different beer styles, and um, for each style of beer, you can add um, brands of each beer that you've tried, individual brands, and then also food pairings that um, you've eaten alongside these certain beers, um, just as a way to kind of remember um, different the beers that you've had. Um, but the whole idea here is that or I'm using an external um, API, which is a crowd, a really cool crowdsourced beer API called Brewery DB, um, and it has endpoints where you can pull in all sorts of awesome information about beer styles from all over the world, and also breweries and beer brands throughout the world too. Um, but the basic idea is that this this drop down list here is accessing that external API, and you can come in here add a beer style to your list and that's going to save certain information from that API into um, into the application database. Um, so each user has their own customized list of styles of different types of styles of beer that they like and then they can come in here and read about each of the beers and um, kind of use it as a learning tool. But then beyond that, they can come in here and add specific brands that they've tried, give them ratings. Um, it sorts all the beers by the ratings so that they can kind of have access to the ones they like best at the top. And the same thing with the food pairings that are here. Um, so on this, in my app here, I did some things like with uh, just kind of fun interactions with the page and um, for me to figure out some of that stuff took, took a lot longer than I expected. Um, but once you once I learned it, it was a lot easier to to do those things in Angular 2 than I thought it was going in. Right. Um, so one of the cool things about Angular 2 is that you work in small bits of code called components um, that are reusable throughout your application. So it makes it so you don't have to rewrite rewrite a bunch of code time and time and time again. Um, so like. You can kind of think of like every little page that you see on a square could potentially be its own component. Like this is a component inside of this component here. Um, but then down here, you know, this looks exactly the same. It's using a lot of the same code, but just different data um, and manipulate and display it on the page when, when you need to. Um, so it, it's really cool for, as you scale up an application, it's less code that you have to write to be able to display different data for different users and, and things like that. So this is kind of a cool thing from that, um, the external beer API that I used. Um, it gives, as part of the information about each beer, it gives you the color um, range of each beer, which is a scientific number um, called SRM, which is kind of a nerdy term based on um, how light ref refracts through the liquid of the beer. Um, so using that color, I was able to use those colors and translate them within the code to um, hex values and then sort the array of colors of the beers um, on the left-hand side here just to kind of create a cool color gradient um, for, for a cool UI to be able to find the different beers that you've